What was Gary a year ago doing? And what has Gary seen in the past year change in this space? And it can be it can be broad, it can be kind of umbrella, or it can be specific. Yeah, uh, I didn't really prepare for this question, but uh, I would say one thing is that we have a, uh, I think the most important thing that I have seen occur this year is not Bitcoin, uh, not blockchain, not Satoshi or the politicians coming into crypto. I think the most important thing I've seen this last year is the power of decentralized technology and how it's making its impact into mainstream media and really changing the landscape of how I obtain my news. And I think the whole world obtains its news, creating a bifurcated, almost mainstream media and then uh, independent news, journalists, people that care about the world. Uh, yeah. This this is not requiring a Satoshi to show up. This is simply requiring technology, and it's filling the gaps of all of society's needs that are clearly, I mean, we are clearly having our news managed. And I think this has been going on since I was seven years old, back to the JFK assassination. I think people are fed up with it, dude. Like I'm, I'm watching a thing right here. The UK government is literally moving into uh, the Patriot Act 5.0. Uh, see, there's all these riots going on. I, I can't pull it up on this particular computer, but there's riots. I've been saying there's riots going on all over this world and no one is monitoring it. Well, they're monitoring it. They're just not letting you see it. Germany, Spain, Portugal, central London is off. like they're always arguing about something or rioting. Uh, you have gangs working all along the, the West Coast, breaking into Neiman Marcus and stealing nine hundred dollars worth of products. Our, our society has completely lost its order law and order we, we we miss the order part dude because there's still laws but but the laws are being i spent 12 hours with on a deposition that is a case that it's over seven years old um just an utter waste of time some of these legal things that the, the world is no longer very efficient and, and america is leading the way of great inefficiencies i think but this decentralized media thing the ability, like I have never done any of this stuff, dude. And now there's 40 or 50,000 people, which I don't think is that big, but I have 50,000 people in a community that was zero a year ago. Um, now, some people might go, well, who cares? Well, I just added 50,000 more people to my universe. That's more people than I've ever added in my entire life, dude. Combined, right? So something is going on. Whether these are real people or bots or good people or rich people or poor people or sad people or happy people, I don't think that's really important. What is important is some of these 50,000 people are sticking their, their ears and their eyeballs into at least my universe and I suspect other people's universes. Um, and they're learning different things, man. I mean, my community is expanding whether you like it or not. Uh, whether you want to say that it's not as real as a physical relationship, I have more relationships today than I had a year ago. And, dude, that has to be good. And if I'm a draconian anything and I'm trying to keep you and I from being together, this is an app killer. It's an app killer for uh, anyone that wants to, like, make us just live in our homes. If this is living in our homes, uh, I'm pretty sure this isn't the strategy that they, they thought about was going to happen because I'm pretty sure my audience, my buddies, my community is going to triple from here in the same time period that it went from zero to 40 or 50,000. It's a lot of big numbers, right? These numbers now start adding up very rapidly. And by the way, I have done not spent a dollar on advertising. 
Never asked my brother to send any users my way. He's got three, four million. I've never asked Grant, hey, bro, pump me or anybody else for that matter. So I see a young guy like you, dude, being able to, you know, you could you do this organically by yourself? Sure. But tapping into my little universe, your your little world is going to expand. That's awesome for me. I'm really happy with you benefiting in that way. And you're going to do it for somebody one day. And this is just, dude, this is, you can't stop this. You can't stop this. This is the kind of stuff other people pay tens of millions of dollars to advertising firms and promotional guys. Let me show you how to dress. Go to speech class. All of this. Uh, and, and like, we're early, dude. I would implore everyone. Okay, this is so significant. Go buy a camera, buy a microphone, and start talking about something online and start following as many people as you can. Disconnect from CNN, Fox, and all the other news stations. Uh, save yourself $180 a month, buy Bitcoin, and uh, help people that, that are communicating a message on these platforms that you like, that you can. You, you know, that you agree with and that your children will benefit from. I actually think that I'm more positive about where we're headed today than I was two years ago because of this type of this type of stuff, man. So is it really the community? I mean, has that been um, like, did you have it's kind of a weird question, but did you have a community in natural gas or in like the credit card business? Like, is the community aspect something unique to what you've seen in Bitcoin? I have never seen a the, the closest thing that I've ever come to around Bitcoin is a religion. I, I can just say, hey, the, the only thing I've ever seen that's even similar to this is a religion. And I say that and suggest that it's one of its greatest attributes that nobody talks about because it's a weird thing to talk about. But this true community of a core belief system on first principles, on I don't want to be a slave to a working system that requires me to spend 60, 70 years of my, but the best years of my life, dude, to then retire. So what? So my knees and my shoulders can't even take me on a nice holiday. This is the world we live in. Work your brains out so that maybe one day you can take a cool holiday. By the time you get there, you don't even enjoy it because your heart's weak. Your muscles are atrophied. You can't walk very well. Uh, I mean, you should be spending that money when you're 40, right? Adventures, enjoying things, investing in your knowledge. Um, now, I've had a really cool life. The good news for me is business is my monopoly game. It is my sport. It is my hobby, man. So I've been able to work every day of my life and have a blast usually. But other people, I think they don't have a purpose and that's, that I think is getting ready. I think this is getting this medium of, I think is getting ready to turn into a medium for education and living. Uh, I think people are going to actually get greatly, greatly enriched through this type of study or interaction where you come all, a bunch of people come together, man, people start thinking differently, right? If you believe in this 100, 100 monkey theory, which is not proven. The hundred monkey theory basically is there was a uh, hundred monkeys and they started washing coconuts on the beach with salt water or something. This is just story. And then 10 years later, three years later, whatever, all of a sudden they realized that monkeys on other islands were beginning to also wash their coconuts in the same manner. The theory being that the species will actually adopt once you have critical mass, adopt a evolutionary style understanding. Uh, my point being is that if I don't think anybody's ever been open to real communication, dude. Really, I don't. Although we've had open communication available, I don't think it's ever been done in formats like this, where there's not an agenda. Like literally, you and I showed up. I have not looked at your questions or agenda. You start asking me questions, and I'm answering them. Um, I, I think the future politicians, if you don't use these mediums and willing to answer every question, just like I'm willing to do, I don't think you're going to make it. Dude. 
in the next. I, people are going to expect this level of transparency. And by the way, why wouldn't we expect this level of transparency for people that work for us? Why is it the only business on planet Earth that is not auditable, has no responsibility by the guys running it, and you and I invest every year mandatorily, okay, even though it's supposed to be voluntarily, mandatorily required to invest in this entity, and no one actually ever shows us what they do, show the results. You invest with me, dude. I have an obligation to be transparent and show you what the fuck I'm doing, even when I'm making mistakes. So it is you and I who have gotten soft and we stopped asking questions, really good questions and demanding those questions be answered. 